Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today it's a design team haul and project share from DIY Art Bin. So I'll just go straight in and show you what was sent to me. Right, first up we have what looks like a seriously cute kind of springtime bear and I think it's hugging its own little rabbit. See if we can get a close up there. So that's really, really cute. Anything that um, I haven't made today, I'll be back with over the couple of weeks to do it. And here's one which I absolutely love. These are little rabbit ears, little icons. I love those. It's something that you can use on absolutely anything, whether it's a stamped image or whether it's a sentiment. And you can just pop it on the end or onto your little character and you can turn anything into Easter. So things like this are a huge money saver. Next up, I have a pair of Valentine gnomes. That looks a little bit sort of European folk art, this kind of design here. I'll have to go and have a look on the website, but I do love gnomes. Next up is another pair of gnomes. These look like Valentine ones, lots and lots of hearts going on there. And as I said, you know, you have to make them to be able to measure them. And here's one which is a rabbit. Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen this one and the carrot stands this way around or that way around. And then you've got all of these little rabbits climbing all over that huge carrot. So that's another cute Easter. And then another gnome. I think this one's two gnomes as well. Yeah, I can see two hats. So more likely to be I think a valentine or just a regular sort of set of gnomes can't see any snowflakes or anything in there so that might be a gnomey one for all year round and then I was sent some cats which is rather odd because they're the kind of cats that you can't really do uh, unless it's Halloween although having said that if you've got a window die and you wanted to do something humorous then those cats kind of like sliding down the window pane would be quite funny. So I do like that one. And then I've got another one where the cat just doesn't look so happy. And I think that one would be perfect for Halloween. And then I'll set a Christmas cat, which is really cute. So I do. Uh, one of the things that I actually do is when sellers send me stuff that's out of season, I do actually pop it into a Ziploc bag and I'll put the season on the bag. And so when I get back, back around to sort of like that time of the year, um, I do get out the older ones and make them. Right, here's another one. Very Halloween-y. Cat's got the book of spells and a skull and a little, what do you call that star-shaped thing? Is it a pent pentu something or other, pentagram? Um, so that one is another one that's perfect for Halloween. So that'll go off into my Halloween bag. And then we've got a scaredy cat. Now, scaredy cats can be used all year round. And I just think they're great for commemorating birthdays, like when people reach 50. Because for some people, the idea of that can be quite terrifying. So a scaredy cat is usually a good thing with a nice kind of snarky comment. And then we have, ah, I have seen this one on the website. I will make this one up for next week. This is a crow with a little uh, bee skep and they've got a hat on their head. And I think this is a butterfly net and they're catching lots of little butterflies. So I'll try and do that one for next week because I do like dyes like this where I can use some of my pens to colour it in. Right, and then we get to the two projects that I've made. So here is the first die for that. And I did stick with Easter. So that's my bag of bits and that's a rabbit in sunglasses. And then this one is another bag of bits and it's a rabbit lying down on top of a sort of like Eastery springtime carrot. And I can measure those because I've made them. 
and to do that project I've used one of my favourite slimline sets which is the Surprise Creation uh, Scallop Edge and I will link to this below because for me personally they're just the perfect set for putting all your cute critters together because this has got you know it's it's just a lovely edge right so I'll stick that under there so that you can still see what's going on on the table and here's my first one and it is the rabbit in the sunglasses now it is a slimline die so if I turn it around that way you can see the full length of it these slimline dies are actually eight inches and they will fit in um, along this edge here on an eight inch pad now I used 6x6 six six paper and um, cropped it and then pieced it together so that I've got sort of like two different colours and then I cut a little piece of trim out of the same pad and used it as like this sort of like wall edge ledge for the, the bunny to be popping over but let's get a close up there aren't those sunglasses absolutely awesome I just love that Carrots reflected in the lenses. What more could you want? I did do a little bit of inking in a, a very pale pink just around the edges of that white pearl cardstock there that's from Joanne just so that it highlighted it a bit. But there's a great space there for just putting whatever springtime sentiment that you want. So for me personally, that's a great layout. Now I'm just going to get my ruler so that I can measure and I made it according to the website so I will go down to the pores and it's four inches so it's perfect on a slim line and then if I go across there two and a half inches so another quick look again super super easy to make just big nice pieces that you can hold in your hands now admittedly put my finger in there the carrots are tiny but um, there are only two of them that need to be made so that is that one and then my second one super super cute and using the same slimline scallop edge again let's get a close up and I did stay true to the colours on the website because the little ladybugs there are a sort of lavender purple and so are the cheeks and the little hearts on the cheeks I don't know how close I can go then I used a little bit of pen underneath to do the whites under the eyes. My gel pen from AliExpress to do the little dots. Another little ladybug up there. And then I used Touch 5 markers, I think pale cream, onto the white cardstock to shade the rabbit, which is actually that colour on the website. And then, of course, you've got the giant carrot and the little scrolly bits and all of that. If I turn it, you can see it's popped up on pads. But I just absolutely love that. Perfect for anyone, perfect for a child, perfect for an adult. Really, really love it. And of course, I put it in the middle, so I've got an option to put um, any sentiment either side. I can have my happy ear and I can pop my Easter there in a straight line and just have the happy at an angle. But that's really, really cute right so that's what I have for you today now I am up tomorrow and tomorrow is using some of those KS craft dies that I didn't use on Tuesday which was the tutorial and of course that was yesterday so I'll be up tomorrow with KS craft and then what will I be doing oh yeah I'm going to use those dies that I got for myself for Friday you see, the week is vanishing so quickly. Oh, well, <sighs> thank you so much for joining me. You have an absolutely awesome day. As usual, all links below. Bye.